Today, we're going to be giving you a closer look at this USB endoscope from Bonaiuk. Okay, before I show you the endoscope, which is this right here, we'll talk about the accessories that it comes with it. Um, you get a little angle view, a uh, magnet, a hook, and then the slide to keep these two objects on. You also get a little cleaning cloth. Um, and to show you uh, how these work really quick, we'll take the uh, magnet. Um, what's really easy about there is there's a little hole on the very end here. You probably can't probably see it on the video, mm -hmm. but when you get it, you can. And then these uh, hook and magnet has a little bit of a, a hook here at the end. And that little piece right there at the end will go right into that hole so that it stays put. And then the slide will go over here and the rod here goes right in this little hump there on the slide. You push that all the way back to where it connects and then you're in. And this is the magnet, like I said, it's not the strongest magnet in the world, but it will pick up a key or two uh, or a couple screws or whatever you uh, ring or whatever is magnetic uh, that you dropped in the drain or behind an object that you need to grab. Um, easy, you just pull that back off and then you can replace that with the hook. This guy, the angle, uh, screws on. Um, he just screws right onto the end here. When he's on, um, instead of seeing straight through uh, like the camera, this will uh, project the view off to the side so that you can see maybe the wall of the pipe that you're going down if you needed to see that or anything that's not, that you can't see, uh, that you don't want to see just directly down. Um, so those are the accessories, really simple, but nice accessories to have for your endoscope. <clears throat> the endoscope itself, uh, you have your end here. You got six LEDs on here, uh, as well as the camera at the very end. Um, it is IPC, IP67, uh, so you can put that down the drain, uh, get that wet, uh, so it doesn't matter. On the end here, you have a, a two-in-one, basically. You have your standard USB, and then if you push that, you have a micro USB that'll fit into your Android phone. Now this guy will work uh, in Android and PC. So we'll show you both of them so that you know they work. Um, this button also here when you plug it in will blink red. Uh, if you press that, it will turn on and off the LEDs. So we'll show you that as well. The application that the instructions tell you to download is called um, uh, CameraFi. I downloaded that, had a few problems with it. so. Um, I decided to try other apps just to see if it'll actually work, and it does. So chances are the application that you want to use, it's an OTG camera, will work uh, with this. It's the standard OTG, it just plugs right into your phone and it should see it. Um, so I've got this, uh, um, I forget the name of it, uh, Scope Cam is uh, the application I downloaded and it seemed to work really well. Uh, so I just plug this in here. See the red light blinks? Uh, it'll ask me what application, because I had camera file on there. So I just want to open it in that USB, and boom, camera works, okay? Um, you can't really see, but uh, it is a little dark in here, but if I press that red button, LEDs come on, you can see a little bit better. Like I say, you can put that down a, a, uh, a, a drain or anything like that, or in your mouth. Ah. See in there, whatever you want to see, it doesn't matter. But it, it totally works. So you can see it works with the Android phone. And we uh, go ahead and plug that. Like I said, LEDs are on. You hit that button, LEDs are off, on, off, on, off. So that totally works. And like I said, most likely it'll work with any OTG camera app that's on your Android phone. As long as you have, remember, um, uh, micro USB. New phones are now coming out with C. So USB-C, so that will not work uh, with this unless you had an adapter, mm -hmm. uh, which you can buy. So anyway, let's plug this back into a uh, regular USB by clicking that in like that. I've got my trusty uh, uh, Surface Pro 3 here. And I've got the camera on, so you know it's actually working. There I am, and there's, hello. And there it is. So let's plug this in. And what's cool with, this is Windows 10, but what's cool is that I didn't need to download any application or anything like that, it just natively works. So it's a little tight on this device, but here we go. You get that in there, and then I believe. Let's see, there we go. 
And there's my USB camera. I just hit this a couple times. So there's your front facing, my rear facing, and then hit it one more time. And then that's the USB 2.0 camera. I didn't have to install any drivers on it. I didn't have to do anything like that. Uh, I just plugged it in. It found the device drivers that it needed. And then I uh, opened up the camera app that came with my Surface Pro 3. And voila, it's just started working. And same thing. If you turn on or if you hit that button, LEDs come on. Hit it again, LEDs come off. So this will work with your PC. This will work with your Android. It works pretty seamlessly. What's good with PC is that you don't need any drivers. It just installs. Uh, what's good with Android is you don't need to use the supplied application. If it doesn't work for you, you can use other applications. Um, and it'll just work. And you get 16 feet of cord. And it is IPC, IP67 rated. So, like I said, you can get that thing wet and put it down your drain, figure out where your clog is or whatever you need to do. Uh, but this is a nice little endoscope. Um, it'll get the job done in little tiny areas that you need to find out where things have fallen or what is clogging or whatever. You get 16 feet of that. So nice little OTG. And what's also nice about it, it's got those LEDs on it, which is really nice. So you can see in dark spots. And then the accessories that it comes with, again, is a hook, a little magnet, and then a side angle view, and then a slide to keep these guys on. And that's it. Really simple, really easy, and it just works. Yep, and that has been your closer look at this USB endoscope.